in today's video we are going to talk about chronic respiratory disease also known as CROD we are going to know the definition of chronic respiratory disease the causes of chronic respiratory disease the signs and symptoms of chronic respiratory disease the prevention of the disease and the treatment of the disease that's what we are going to discuss in today's video so let's start CRD or chronic respiratory disease they are diseases that affect the respiratory system of your pottery bed they affect the respiratory system of your pottery bed so now what are the signs and symptoms of this CRD or the chronic respiratory disease? One is droppingness. Two, coughing. Three, sneezing. Rattling of the feather. Gorging. Nasal discharge. Swollen face. Ruffled feather. Loss of appetite drop in egg production and it can also lead to death those are the signs and symptoms of chronic respiratory disease so now what's the causes of this chronic respiratory disease crud or chronic respiratory disease is being caused by mycoplasma galipticum it can be caused by lack of space extreme temperature and poor Pottery management. But the main cause of CRD is mycoplasma galicticum. That is the main cause of it. So now, let's move to the prevention of CRD. CRD can be prevented using the following method 1. Clean and disinfect your pottery house properly. 2. Biosecurity. Biosecurity is the measure taken in order to reduce or prevent the spread of pottery disease. So to prevent this CRD from attacking your bed, you need to involve biosecurity in it. The next one is if you want to buy your pottery bed, buy your pottery bed from a good hatchery because an infected bed might transfer that disease to order of your bed thereby making your bed to have the CRD so good hatchery is very important 3. Good water 4. Clean bedding 5. Do not allow other people or animals to enter your pottery house when you follow this step you can prevent the spread of this CRD so now Let's move to the treatment of CRD. 1. Isolate the infected bed. After isolating the sick bed, the number 2 is to take care of this sick bed. You need to take proper care of this sick bed. If the bed can't drink water, you can give the bed water with spoon or eye dropper in order, the bed, in order for the bed to gain strength. 3. Treat the infected bed. After, are, after you isolate your bed, you care for the bed. The next thing is to treat it. Since this disease is being caused by bacteria, you use antibiotics to treat the bed. Broad spectrum antibiotics. The next one is that reduce the risk of reinfection. What does that mean? After a disease outbreak in your poultry farm, try to clean the poultry house to reduce the risk of your infection. That one is very important. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video concerning CRD. The definition of CRD, the causes of CRD, signs and symptoms of CRD, the prevention of CRD, and how to treat CRD. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell to get notified when we drop important content like this. See you in my next video. Bye.